Hi, single Scorpio. This is your Love Tarot Cards reading by Emma for the month of December 2021. Quick announcement. My private readings are available. You can just go to description box below, click on the fiber link, and uh, that will take you through your order. All right, now Ace of Swords for you, Scorpio, King of Swords, Three of Wands, and two of pentacles, two of wands, your influencing energy. All right, we're gonna comment on it just now. So, eight of swords paired with judgment. King of swords with a seven of wands, three of wands with the empress, two of pentacles with queen of pentacles. The, the lovers and a two of wands it seems something began earlier on somewhere in november okay the lover's energy suggests that you did speak with another one okay this is communicating this is talking this is putting things together you and another one you already talked about sort of partnership love relationship some sort of relationship in the making from november you saw it as a love relationship okay but this is this is more talking about it. You know, when people openly talk about each other, are we suitable for each other? Can we make this relationship work? Will it be good for us? In that sense, you did have your November. It, it's kind of this relationship is initiated already, okay, from November. And maybe somebody from your past, okay, maybe a person that you know from some time ago comes back in your life. Ace of Swords talks about decision, talks about clarity and decision as well with the judgment definitely you will you will have something for certain something that is absolute first week of december related maybe to this relationship that is visible or you do have something from your past that you're gonna cut away could also be something like that definitely something that that is familiar to you something that you experienced already in your past whether that is person that you are forming this relationship with okay you know that person from your past maybe you did have even a relationship with that person earlier on or it was just somebody that you knew but the past is kind of coming here resurrects in a way in your life first week in December and you know that is the right way now you know that's for sure that person that what you do you do have clarity about your decision person that you want right now person that you are making relationship with or you do have something something or somebody from your past who you do not want for yourself anymore with Whichever way that goes, you are certain with yourself. Now you know for sure, okay? Particularly, King of Swords is following. That is also clarity. That one will cut away everything that is not needed. Seeing everything clearly. This is just the facts and logic. You know, no BS with this one. Whatever that is truth is truth. What is not is not. And it cannot be substituted with anything else. Truth is truth. And this one is standing for it. Could be somebody who is a Gemini, Libra okay or Aquarius person in your environment that you are actually interacting with that is actually your partner but will be that sort of person very knowledgeable very intellectual talking about every single subject if if this subject is unknown or something new is coming oh very curious to to find out about that you see what I'm saying king of swords can be interesting in that way now you are kind of trying to prove something that you are and you can and you are standing by your idea and your convictions and, and your stuff. I don't know, uh, you are kind of very defensive in here. Perhaps you felt undermined. Maybe this person is a bit too much for you because this one really knows a lot. Perhaps you felt a bit intimidated by this person. 
somewhere around second week of November. But things are going well. Look, the Empress with the Three of Wands, we are talking about something that is future. Now, this is putting your ideas out there, communicating with another. Okay, are we in the relationship or not? Or what is going to be? You see what I'm saying? Putting together things. Okay, we were in the relationship. Let's see what is going to be from now on. You know, give, give it a space a little bit. Okay, it is potential relationship, maybe even something is happening in here, okay, with this space, all right, uh, let's see, let's not confirm anything, let's just wait and see, in that sense could also be that relationship is kind of on the ground already, you just don't want to call it for sure, committed or so, because you want to see what it's going to be in the future, nearest future. Because the Empress talks about you being very comfortable with the situation. Okay, you were expecting that things will grow, this relationship will grow. That's in your mind. Okay, you are very certain with yourself, very passive energy. You are enjoying this moment. Okay, it's not committed relationship, but you people are kind of together. You can, you maybe you're not going to call it relationship, but you are seeing each other. You are interacting you are communicating and a lot and you are confident that everything will be just fine this will be relationship from now on two of pentacles talks about dilemma okay will it be will it not be two situations on the ground two people what to do where to go somehow somehow indecisiveness about something that is already there. I don't know, are you indecisive now about this person or another person or about this person or your single status being in the relationship or being single, okay? Perhaps, maybe it's on your mind, Scorpio, by the end of the month that you are kind of liking being single, okay? Perhaps you tasted the relationship and it's maybe having space for yourself is suitable for you. Queen of Pentacles might suggest that you are happy with yourself, on the ground with yourself, that that's what makes you happy. You are quite good with yourself, with this Empress, with Queen of Pentacles, you are fine. With everything that is happening around you, that's fine, that's what you wanted. Beginning of the relationship, maybe you are not even calling it relationship, it's fine. Call it relationship or not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter here, but at this point, um, with the two of pentacles, perhaps it's moment when you have to say yes or no. We are into committed relationship or we are not. And you were perhaps juggling, you had avoiding answer by the end of the month. You are, I think situation is suitable for you for some reason. I have feeling that a proper, deep, committed relationship right now um, is not what you really want. That's what you have, okay? You do have some defin something definitely, but it's sort of agreement. You people talk, you agree, and that is just enough for you, okay? Seeing this person occasionally or whatever, that's what you have. It's just right for you. Kind of, it seems to me that you are trying to prolong this decision um, as long as possible. Okay, it is nervous energy. You have to say yes or no, and you are not just not ready. You just don't want to make a decision. You're kind of happy with that, what you have, and you wouldn't like to make up your mind. You wouldn't like to lose the person, and you wouldn't like to go committed. My impression is that uh, your, um, your single status and the space that you want for yourself is kind of kicking in here. But anyway, it seems things are happening for you here in December, so enjoy it.